I've been, I've been trying to do programming for a long time, and when I was little, I thought that I could just write a program. I had a Commodore 64, you write a program, and basic, you press run, and everything works. I go to a new computer, I have DOS. How do you write a program? So I look, and everything is a .com file. So how do you make a .com file? Open Notepad, write some text, some programming code, save it, rename to .com, and run. Does it work? Of course not. It's not how programming works. That, that's not how things should work. So I figured, well, what's better than Notepad to write, write, write programs in? So somebody recommended Word. <laughs> well, that's a terrible choice. And then I got into some discussion about editors, like, which one should I be using? Which one do I use? I should be using any of these with compilers and... I, I don't agree with this. I mean, this is boring. This is all text. Why should we be programming text? I want to do something fun. I'm, I'm a creative person. I want to do something, something nice and graphical. I know. I'm going to write Hello World in the GIMP. <laughs> so let's start our editor. Sadly, I couldn't do this as a live demo. I'd love to, but can't do that. So we start with this. This is, it's a bit bright. So let's start with a, with a knobby gray. And then um, I'm going to paint in a nice function call to print the string. So some blue arguments. I, I have a green call. Uh, and then I need to have a, a nice return to the operating system. So let's go for a, a bit pink and purple. It's a bit darker purple. The screen is not calibrated. You're ruining the art. <laughs> but okay, let's, let's add something to print. So we'll add a, a couple of, of subdued tones to print. So we'll have these and then a bright stripe just to spice it up a little bit. Okay, program is done. Save to bitmap, run DOSBox. Take the bitmap, bitmap's 102 bytes, move it to helloworld.com and run it in DOSBox. And you know what? Doesn't work. But that's not my fault. I didn't make that mistake. This is just DOS because DOS is, well, ancient and doesn't understand Hello World because Hello World is too long. It's 10 letters. Kind of 10 letters. So what's, it, what's it actually called? It's Hello W tilde 1 dot. Okay, let's try that. And that's Hello World. I can explain everything to you in detail if you want to know how this actually works. None of this is a lie. Thank you.